Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3, where last episode we made it up the mountainside, only for us to look at this base, and now we have to head down again. <laughs> um, so we did a bit of sightseeing. I finally took way too long, but I, f I figured it out that Eva and Tanya are the same character. Isn't it amazing what a pair of glasses and tying your hair up can do? Uh, I should have seen that one much earlier. I don't know why I didn't. I was looking. I was looking too deep in other places. But I think that's what happens with Metal Gear Solid. Is it throws so much story and stuff at you that you're not f like. Sometimes you can miss some finer details. There you go. Now we know who that is. Um, and it was, you know, made even more obvious by giving away the boot marks and anything and whatever uh, with the bike. Uh, so Osla, I think, is on to her, and they're. Doing some stuff down there. We gotta get Sokolov. Have a have a great fun time. I'm gonna use the codec because I didn't use the codec uh, after the cutscene at the end of last episode. So we're gonna have a chat to everyone and get some more information before we move on. You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. I want to see your personal info. It looks like three. you can get a nice panoramic view of Groznygrad from there. Perhaps you should scout it out now while you can. Just don't do anything too conspicuous. Remember that the attack chopper is still on patrol. Okay, still got the attack chopper on patrol. Major, Eva isn't responding to the radio. Right. Right. Snake, she's been talking to you from inside an enemy facility. She's not always going to be able to answer the radio. Don't assume something's wrong just because you're not getting a response. Don't worry about Eva. Stay focused on your mission. Got it. Got it. I see you've caught yourself an Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion is said to be the largest scorpion in the world. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin, so take care that you don't get stung. If you do get stung, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to inject yourself with serum right away. Okay. So how's it taste? Not very good, I'm afraid. Oh. Don't get so discouraged. There are other ways to use it besides eating it, right? Like what? Like catching one alive with a tranquilizer gun and throwing it at the enemy? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if you even remember that you were on a mission. <sighs> <laughs> Right? The horse the boss was riding sounds like an Andalusian. Andalusians are from the region of Andalusia in Spain. They're renowned for their beauty, their gentle nature, and their physical prowess. Hmm. Just like the boss. Just so you know, you can't eat them. Hey, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you were going to. I was. Yes. Don't even think about eating a horse. Got it? I guess I'll have to mark it off the list. What did you say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. You can capture animals alive by using the tranquilizer gun or a mouse trap. When you capture a live animal... You... Yep. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly so James like you Bond. A miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on her. Hmm. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Sigint. Yo! Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these WIGs. Apparently they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The WIG's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. 
Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good too. Not that speed is gonna help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Okay, interesting. Tatiana putting that tracker in his shoe. Looks like you got your face painted in desert color. Desert is a brown colored face paint used for operations in mountainous terrain as well. It should let you blend in well in mountain and desert environments. Thank you. You can take off your face paint by... Alright, Eva won't be answering the radio, so that's that. So, let's make our way back to the summit to use the key that uh, Eva gave us. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, because we've got key B. I forgot what key A was used for, because I tried to use it on that door, but it didn't work. Operate opens red door in the southeast of a warehouse. Did I... I can't remember if this is something that I've that I've missed. Uh, there's been so many different names thrown around in Russian <laughs> that I can't... I can't remember! And I can only look at uh, the map that I'm currently on. Right? Oh, hang on. No, I can. I can go back on previous maps. So, Krasnod Gorge Mountain Bay. Uh, I can only go as far as... Okay. So I've met, yeah, I think I've missed my opportunity to use the key A. That's okay. We're not getting everything in this game, but key B, I will keep on. And then we're going to be going back down the mountains. We're going to have to be careful not to get just trapped again. Uh, I'll see how, see how I can make my way down. Um... Let's have, let's just have some fun with it, shall we? So back to the, back down here through the mountaintop ruins. Um, let me eat something. Let's get this Russian ration out of here. No good. No good. I've got like, good food that doesn't go off. Which is kind of a good thing at the moment. Um, I'll just keep the instant noodles up here for now. Who knows if we'll just end up coming back here again. Alright. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff in here and a frog boy. Yeah. Give me these, please. Every time I see, like, this isn't an area where there's even enemies, so that's why when I see this, I'm like, are we supposed to, like, shoot them in each area to, like, trigger something? Oh, there's a scorpion in here. Good day, sir. I'm sorry that we're in your house. I will, I will leave you be. Enjoy. I left some noodles up the top for you to snack onto. Alright, we've got guards out here again, and they're all hungry. What is that noise? Oh, he's got... Hang on. So have they got... Have they got flamethrowers? So Can I shoot said flamethrower and make it blow up? That'll just trigger everyone, though. Uh, how the hell do we take out flamethrower guys? Um... Should we just try and stealth it? I'm so hungry. Then he's gonna come back down. So Can we just take him out? I'm worried about the tank. Ah, uh, 
Hang on. Okay, we can take him down. HQ, please respond. Huh? What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. What? You don't know that the enemy's attacking from an unknown position? The hell is that? You're all hungry, you're all delusional. As if I can't climb up on here. Alright, well I guess we've got a caution status now, because for some reason I, we're attacking from an enemy position. Oh, these are the, this is the group. This is our little caution group. Man, I want to blow up that barrel so badly. Let them move on. There's so many flamethrower dudes. Snuck past him. Nice little sneaky one. I'm pretty sure this is the tunnel that I'm supposed to. This is the underground tunnel. Um, that was uh, that was interesting. Didn't like it. <laughs> um, Jesus, spider camo. Just got to chow down on that food. I guess I could have used uh, spider camo to go through that then, right? <laughs> and just. Snacked on my food. As much as I like the spider camo, it's like... I'm definitely only ever going to be using it in the... Like, most emergency of emergencies. Uh, now that I'm in the tunnel, I'll have a chat to our crew. Follow that tunnel to the north and you'll come out inside Groznygrad. Keep going north. Follow that tunnel to the north and you'll come out inside Groznygrad. Keep going. Treating serious wounds will rec Looks like you're wearing the splitter pattern camo. Splitter was used quite a bit in World War II on German aircraft and stuff. I think I've heard this the one. The pattern helped mask the plane's attitude and direction in dogfights. Even now, it's still being used as camouflage in some... Yeah. Alright guys, that's fine. Now, tunnel. We're very capable with our ammo, apparently, at the moment. Um, let me just have a look. Let's put this one on, just in case. I like just doing, uh, doing the nice semi-auto stuff. Just being able to shoot one one nice bullet into a head is very satisfying. Um, why do I have like this? Why do I have like this itching feeling to save? Um, Follow that tunnel. They've got nothing for me. Eat food to rec This doesn't feel safe. It's a large open area. So you've got your uniform and your. I'm gonna save. It won't save those medical items you that I picked up, but it'll at least pick up the. It'll at least save at the beginning of this room. Do 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 do. Saving content. 
Thank you. Snake, have you seen Doctor Strangelove <laughs> or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Doctor what? Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Doctor Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. Lovely. Alright, we've saved. Did my spider sense go off for no reason? Let's find out. Am I gonna need to pull out the torch in a minute? It's goddamn dark in here. Ooh, okay, so this goes into a new area. Ah, interesting. Got bright in here all of a sudden. Was my spider sense correct? I like the uh, I like the like the armor that Snake has on his um, on his hands and arms. Like those gloves. Oh no! What's this? Snake. Falcon Raven, but flamethrower version. Oh my god, that looks like the jetpack from James Bond! Um... Anyone hungry for I bird? The fury! The fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. That's corny, bro. I came back from space. Okay. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. Why? And do you know what I saw there? This is like lame Johnny Cage. He came back from space and turned into a fireman. A great and terrible fury at being alive. Holy oh, shit. You're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. Hang on. <laughs> I. <laughs> what do I do? He's like fully armored. The Fury is equipped with a powerful flamethrower. Whatever you do, don't attack him from Shoot the, front. the tank. Get behind him and attack him from there. You'll never get anywhere fumbling around in the dark. You need to be able to see first. Thermal goggles. Use the night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. You could also try using a torch or a cigar. Okay. The Fury's flamethrower is immensely powerful. Do not under any circumstances try to approach him from the front. Those flames are incredibly intense. If you get blasted at close range, it's likely to result in a To treat a burn, go to the if cure menu burn, in the survival viewer. Go to the survival viewer. viewer right away and use cure to treat it. If your body catches on fire, you can put it out by rolling around repeatedly. You can also go into the survival viewer and change out of the burning clothes. Oh. <laughs> so if you catch on fire, take care of it immediately. That's neat. The Fury's flame throws. Snake, watch out for the Fury's flame attacks. Those flames are incredibly intense. If you get blasted at close range, it's likely to result in a severe burn. If you get burned, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to treat it. You can't fight if you can't see in front of your face. You need to be able to rely on your vision. You can try the night vision goggles, but keep an eye on the batteries. Don't look straight at the Fury's flames when you're wearing the night vision goggles, though, or you'll be blinded by the afterimage for a while. 
If he fires the flamethrower, either look away or take off the goggles. If the batteries in the night vision goggles are used up, you can use a cigar or a torch for light. But if you try and get close to him with the light on, he'll know you're there. Keep that in mind. I'm assuming that we could do... this to at least try and get the black out of the... <laughs> get the black out of the situation here. Um, I can see pretty well. Okay, so I need to get behind... <gasps> Whoa! What the hell? Um... Uh... Eh? Yeah. Dude... How do I... Do I just take off the, the camouflage to change... To, to get my fire off? What the hell? Okay, so when he lo when he puts the fire in, it lights up like an entire... Where'd you go? It lights up an entire column. Okay, that's... Worrisome. I'm worried. Alright, night vision goggles. And... If I want to shoot this thing from behind... Ooh. I can, can, I, can I just blow the... Can I just blow the man up? Um, I might want to snipe him in the back. Uh, put this away. Put this out here. Wonder if I could use like a, a chaff grenade on him at all. Wonder if that would do anything for him. Oh, that's great. That's cool. I'm over here. Ah! I was like, what buttons do I press? Oh, it's the... That's so... Ah! I like kept... The hard thing about having the sniper rifle equipped is that you just can't... do anything about it. I, can't, I was like pressing the wrong buttons and that kind of messed with me a lot. That did, like, nothing to him. I was trying to shoot him in the tank, but I don't... That didn't really do much for me. And I was like, oh, maybe... The... Maybe I can have him walk into a claymore, but I don't know if that's going to do much for him either. Should we try and shoot him in the back with the RPG? It's, it's worth the shot, right? Hang on, I've got a burn. Let me treat that burn. Just gonna hide all day. Well, that's kind of the point of the game.
That did nothing to him. Damn. Well, we're not using the RPG. The RPG, you'd expect that to do some damage, right? I'm going to keep the sniper on if, if it's just going to do that set amount of damage each time. Is there any way that I could do more damage than that? I also am curious about how we could tranquilize him. Maybe the tank isn't what we should be aiming for. The Fury is equipped with a powerful flamethrower. Whatever you do, don't attack him from the front. Get behind him and attack him from there. Anywhere specifically never though? Get anywhere fumbling around in the dark. Is there anywhere specific that I should shoot him? Ooh. Fuck, where is he? I'm I'm almost dead. It's so, like, recovering health is so slow in this game that, like, whenever you're in, like, an actual, like, boss fight or a battle like this, it really, like, you suffer because you have to just wait. There's nothing that I can, there's nothing that I can do to speed up this process. It, unless I just turn off the, it, like, wants me to turn off the game. <laughs> like, doesn't really seem like the best way for me to do it. What do you want? There you are. Oh, apparently I unequipped the sniper. I was meant to put you on. Yeah, I don't really know what else I could really go for, um, in terms of attacking him. I don't think a grenade's gonna really do much either. I can try and experiment and see if I can plant a claymore down for him. I don't know how that's gonna go though. Because, because then I'm, I kind of feel like I might accidentally forget where I've put the claymore and then walk over it myself. Like, I feel like I'm gonna forget. Okay. Uh, don't do claymores, because he can see them and then he blows them up. Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed by fucking bats, are you kidding me? I'm gonna get killed by bats out of all of this. I don't even know how I'm alive. Remember having remember having health? I certainly do. That's so great. That's fine. Any tips for how to pass the time when you've got no health? Like, should I legitimately just turn the game off and come back next time? Just kind of kills the mood of the game. Especially when I'm in the middle of a fight. Where do you reckon I should shoot him specifically, right?
going to try that again and see if it see if it does anything. All right, that's that's uh that's about as much as I'm going to try with the with the claymore. And then I'm going to try and get around him from the back. I'm going to see if the if the claymore explodes if he walks into it or not. And then if it does, then I'll try and shoot him. Alright, this is a... Okay, so he's just clearing it out. The claymore didn't blow up though. So that's, that's good, that's good. What if we just pretended to be a crocodile? Or a cardboard box? <laughs> Um. okay. Oh, that's the claymore gone. Okay. So... He destroyed the claymore regardless. Alright, shot him in the head. He's gone over there, okay. Has he gotten faster? Here I come. Three. Get up! Get up! Ignition. Snake! Fire. He's speeding up and for what? For what reason? Does he know where I am? Does he know where I am? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him with the sniper anymore after this because he's, he's just running around. Um... Only other shots that I've got is like just taking like uh, shots with this. One ignition. Fire! Oh God! Burn! Oh God! No! He gets so quick, and for what? Oh my god. He gets so fast, and like, it's like he knows exactly where I am. Uh, at least I get full health out of this. That's, that's something. Maybe I'll have to, I only got two stun grenades left though, if I want to like, stun him when he's running around. RPG does nothing. I want to shoot him with the tranquilizer once just to see what kind of a dent this puts into his stamina, if anything. We'll just have to see. doesn't do... That also doesn't do a lot. I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can be bothered doing the tranquilizing that would take so long. 
Um, I want to I want to test out how to Die! Oh fuck. Ah, that's how we do that. I'm committing at the moment. I want to get this to work. Dark enough. Yes! You can claim or him. You can claymore him, but you have to do it really close. Like, really close. So we can do damage shooting him in the head. In my opinion, it does kind of the same amount. It does kind of the same amount of damage, shooting him in the head, uh, from the front, than it does from the back. Oh, fuck. Don't start running. See, look! Why does he look like he knows where I am? Why does he look like he... Why is my game lagging so much? Honestly, when it goes bright, Jesus Christ. Um, so when he's running, it's like he knows exactly where I am in that moment. And that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like he should. Can I, can I lure him with claymores when he's running around like an idiot then? Where is he? Now you're there. Here I come. Three, two, one. Ignition. Fire. Oh shit. Oh, he does that. Okay, that's a move. Oh god. He also does that. How did he? Okay. Oh, 
for God's sake. This is this is a hard one. Because the tips is like shoot him from the back, okay? Does he have a does he have does he have a weak point? <laughs> um <laughs> I'm gonna just experiment, I guess, and then we'll see how we go. I'm thinking like the thermal goggles might even yeah look I can see him quite well on the thermals um, that that kind of works for me yeah I can see him on the thermals way more um, Pretty sure these are like the explosive barrels, so I feel like I could get some. I feel like I could get some cheap shots. But to do that, I have to get him over back over this side. Where'd you go? My game turns into a lagging hot pile of mess when the fire comes in, which is uh, kind of disappointing. So I, I'm not sure, not sure what that is. <laughs> uh, to be honest, that might just be my computer eating dirt um, for some reason when too much happens on screen, which is kind of annoying. The game's fine, but it's just like the audio. Um, oh, fuck, the audio suffers. So I, I apologize for that. Reckon I could get up close and personal with the with the knife and we'll stab him in the leg. I already have just no health from this encounter and we're right at the beginning. This is definitely the most difficult one so far. Why does it do that? Ooh, I can get... The leg is good. The leg's good. So when I get him on the leg... When I get him on the leg, uh, he goes down, and then I'm able to get another shot on the leg as well. So I can, I can get a couple. Part of me wants to lure him down here to blow him up on these, um, these barrels. So let's play it, let's play it slow, here. Let's play it nice and slow as we let him walk down here, and then, when he kind of gets to this point, I can blow up the barrels. Snake! That's my game plan. I don't know how big the ra the explosion radius will be though. I need to be careful. We get we get close. A little bit further, sir. Oh, that was good. That was good. That took out quite a bit. Alright. Explosive barrels it is, but I have to actually lure him and get him to those to those spots. His movement. Trouble, 
His movement capability is insane. Where he can end up. I'm trying to listen so... Ooh, we got the frog up there. Can I distract him with the frog? How good's that? Ah! No! Why do, Why is audio lag like such... So frustrating? Audio lag is like so painful. Boss. Didn't he have half health? This is the end of the Copas. Guys, I'm so sorry about the audio quality. I don't know what the fuck's You're going the on. Only one left. I'm off. I'm off. To join the sorrow. Oh Jesus. To join the sorrow. Fuck. Also, audio lagging is very inconsistent because that was fine. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if it's the game or the recording or what. Mission control. Do you read me? Ground control to Major Tom. I'm coming home. Okay. Holy fuck. Okay, bud. God, the audio was so terrible for me. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, it's it like it's it affects me the same way that it affects you. Um, that was really a yeah. That was really pulling me out um, when it was lagging. Uh, that was the fury done. <laughs> uh, the secret was in just exploding the barrels. Like, it's so weird that that information was not like, hey, there's barrels around there. Maybe you should blow them up. Like. It seems like obvious, but at the same time, you'd think that um, that would be given in the radio. I didn't expect to do that much damage on that on that last one. It looks like that I kind of sniped it at the at the perfect moment. But I tried to experiment as much as I could with stuff. I'm disappointed with how weak the uh, disappointed with how weak the. Um, the rocket launcher was. That was kind of was kind of funny how how weak that was, to be honest. Uh, but there you go. So that's the that's the fury done and dusted. Now let's have a chat to our friends. Uh, hopefully, now that there's no crazy fire and explosions on front of my screen, uh, the audio might chill out. I think when I I don't know what it is exactly because I've I've played around with some settings recently to try and have the recording be of higher quality while still maintaining performance, but it looks like it's still struggling, which is which is unfortunate. Um, that's on me. Uh, at the moment, that's that really is probably just a limitation of the fact that my my PC my PC's got good got good specs, but it's probably just 
for me, trying to output the quality that I'm wanting to do and to give to you guys, it's probably occasionally going to have those those moments. I remember when I was doing my Uncharted 2 playthrough, there was a section that was quite bad. So it's it's very it's very hit and miss. Uh, it seems like when there's like a crazy amount of stuff to take in on screen, uh, either OBS or my PC just isn't handling it. Because I don't think it's the game. I don't think it would be the game. Uh, so I don't, that's you defeated it. Defeated the Fury, huh? Yeah. That only leaves. I haven't forgotten. Good. But your first priority is to get Sokolov out of the fortress. Right. The ladder at the end of that underground tunnel should take you up into Groznygrad. Once the Shagohod is completed, there's no telling how long they'll let Sokolov live. You've got to hurry. So, my question here, uh, my question here is, uh, Fury says he's off to join the Sorrow. Is the Sorrow already dead? Because even the boss was like, the Sorrow, are you here, or whatever, earlier. So, I'm curious as to, uh, I'm curious as to what's going on in that, in that regard. Does the sorrow even exist anymore? Is he a ghost? Uh, what's what's happening? Because <laughs> I think we've kind of seen this cat, this uh, someone in flashes. Um, so in a couple of scenes. So I think we, I think that might come up soon. So we've got the boss left. We've got Volgan and Ocelot still who's going to be around for ages. Um, but then, yeah, uh, in the, there's also the sorrow. Um, so we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But yeah, the fury was, was interesting. So yeah, going for the knees was a good choice because you can get a couple of shots in one and then shooting those barrels was great. Major, why do they keep exploding? True. It's part of their legend. Legend? The legend of the Cobra unit. I'll let Sigint explain. Sigint? Yeah, that. That's a microbomb. A microbomb? Yep. During World War II, the Cobra unit was used for the nastiest kinds of wet works, the kind that could never be let out into the open. Their missions were so top secret that not only were they forbidden to be taken prisoner, they couldn't even leave their corpse behind. Because of this, or so the legend goes, they carried a microbomb with them on their missions in case they needed to commit suicide. I always thought it was just a rumor. I never expected it would turn out to be true. But why would they be carrying bombs this time around? It's not like they're in hostile territory. Maybe they're ready to die. Ready to die? Yeah. They've got no unit to go back to. Not even a country. So they've got no place to die except the battlefield, huh? Yeah. No turning back for them. I wonder if the boss feels the same. Interesting. Major. Yes? I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? What do you mean? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. You want to know where it comes from? Yeah, if that's all right. That's a bit nostalgic, really. Nostalgic? Hmm, the first British intelligence outfit was established in 1909. The head of the Foreign Intelligence Division was a man named Mansfield George Smith Cumming. He was referred to simply as C after the first letter of his last name. Since then, out of respect for coming, the heads of the SIS have traditionally taken the name of C. And James Bond's boss is called M. <laughs> that's right. I myself was once known as O. And that's where Zero comes from. Where's Q? Precisely. In another sense, though, it signifies a ghost, one whose true identity must remain a mystery. The Ooh. primogenitor of the solo sneaking operation. Is that so? Ooh, I'm a ghost. Snake, when your stamina gets low, it negatively affects your physical. Eat food. Or... Snake, be. Wearing black face paint, huh? Painting your face with black paint should give you a high rate of camouflage in dark areas. Sigan is fine with the black face paint. Okay, so done some codex. Um, maybe I might take this opportunity because you guys have mentioned um, that there's a really rare one from Eva. Um, 
that apparently I've missed because it was like something that was a bit um, it was uh, around the time where you like first beat Osla, I think something something like that um, I think it might be this one so let's have uh, let's have a listen shall we This might be this might be the the codec call. So I'll listen to it now because I wanted to ask you about Ocelot. Yeah, I know. He's pretty infatuated with you, isn't he? That's not what I meant. Right, let me pause this so we can get the audio from it. I wanted to ask you about Ocelot. Yeah, I know. He's pretty infatuated with you, isn't he? That's not what I meant. Aren't the Ocelots an elite unit? Yeah. So how'd he get to be their commander? He can't be any older than 18 or 19. I can't believe he's already a major. I heard from the colonel that he's been given special treatment. Special treatment? Yeah, he's the son of some legendary hero or something. No, no wonder he seems to have the right stuff. So who is this legendary hero anyway? Beats me. Mm -hmm. The colonel never told me. All I heard was that his mother was supposedly shot in the gut during battle. And that he was born right there with bullets whizzing past them. What? A woman in the middle of a battle? That's what I heard. They say that when they stitched her up, the scar was shaped like a snake. Well, that's battlefield medicine for you. What about his father, this legendary hero? He didn't tell me. I don't think Ocelot's ever met his parents. Are they dead? Maybe. I don't know. There were a lot of MIAs back then, during the last days of the war. Ocelot probably would have ended up the same way. But he was taken in and raised by Guru and Balkan. Because he was special. That's my guess. So... Ocelot is the son of a legendary hero. Which is not entirely surprising. I mean, he's got some skill and he's young and he's in a high position of power. He was born during battle. The woman... The woman's scar left over... Uh, was in the shape of a snake. And nothing about the father, but he doesn't know his parents. As if that's a rare and optional call. That should be, like, mandatory to get that backstory from, um, about Ocelot. Let me know if that was the correct call, because I think it feels like it was. That was the one. Um... Hmm, that's a that's an interesting uh, that's an interesting tidbit of information there. So Ocelot uh, being the child of a legendary hero. Do we do we get more information on that later in the game, uh, or in another game? Because uh, this is the first one, chronologically, so I don't expect that we'd be going back further than this. So, uh, I'll just, just, just to state, if the information does come to me in a game or in the game that I'm playing now, don't spoil it. If this is information that's supposed to be determined via other information outside of the game by other means, let me know, and that'll be good information to have. But if it's something that'll come up later, um, hold off. So I trust you in that regard. Um, be safe with your spoilers. All right, let's uh, let's continue. So we came from there. So we're gonna go this way and go up the ladder. A shorter ladder than last time. That was a that was an interesting, definitely an interesting call. So I'm going to have to retain that information and see if that's going to come up again later. We're in the base, boy! Time to change the camouflage. Uh, 
this area looks huge. Standard guards, though, baby. Standard guards. We need to get into there. It's radio time. Um, okay, first things first. Let's change into something more appropriate. Apparently, black face mask is uh, the best option here. I disagree. Um... Let's just do this for now. Um, and then... We're in the base, so let's have a chat! <sighs> to our friends! Good. You've finally made it inside Groznygrad. Yep. Finally. Stay alert. This is the enemy's main base. The security here is on a scale you haven't encountered yet. No kidding. Your objective is the weapons lab. It's the giant building in the center of the fortress. Sokolov is in the west wing of that building. West wing. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. Steal his clothes and disguise yourself as him. Rykov is supposed to be in the east wing of the weapons lab. Start out by sneaking into the east wing of the weapons lab. Then neutralize Rykov and take his clothes. The weapons lab is to the northeast of the area you're in now. Head northeast. All right, northeast to impersonate Rykov, who looks like Raiden. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. Steal his. So we end up putting on the mask anyway. How funny is that? Rykov is supposed to. I just did it early as the scientist. Start out by sneaking into the east wing of the weapon. Okay. The gauge below your lock to take a rest. You're on a solo sneaking mission. Eva. Oh. Hello. Oh no, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. And now we're going to have no dialogue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Snake. You're alright. Were you worried about me? Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah, I can't continue my mission without your help. I'm touched by your honesty. I don't know who's talking anymore. Don't concern yourself with me. I'm doing just fine. But what? Thanks anyway. Sure, okay, back to the mission. The security in the West Wing where Sokolov is being held is extremely tight. The only ones who are cleared to enter the West Wing are those with Colonel Class authorization. One of those people is Major Rykov. To get into the West Wing, you can disguise yourself as Rykov. First, you have to take Rykov out and steal his uniform. He's in the East Wing of the Weapons Lab in the center of Groznygrad. The East Wing is northeast of your current location. Head northeast. All right, but why? Huh? Why do I have to steal Rykov's clothes from him? What about that scientist outfit? That's not going to work this time around. Rykov's uniform is a special type that only he wears. You'll have to get it directly from him. Normally I'm pretty good at getting, getting men to take off their clothes, but it won't work on him. I missed that line of dialogue. What's that supposed to mean? What indeed. Anyway, the only way to get Rykov's uniform is to take him out and steal it yourself. He's somewhere in the East Wing. I'm going to talk to you again now. Eva, about this Major Rykov. Take it away, yes. boys. You said he had Colonel Class authorization, right? Right. But his rank is Major, so how can he have Colonel Class authorization? Rykov is treated as an officer of equal rank with Colonel Volgin. Treated as the same rank? Yeah. Even though he's a major. Right. Why? You don't know? No. Even after seeing that photo? Nope. Has anyone ever told you you're a bit slow? What are you talking about? I'll leave you to think about it. Wait a minute. Gotta go. But I'm a bit slow. I don't know. The security in the West Wing where Sokolov is being held is extremely tight. The only ones who are cleared to enter the West Wing are those with Colonel Class authorization. One of those people is Major Rykov. To get into the West Wing, you could disguise yourself as Rykov. First, you'll have to take Rykov out and steal his uniform. He's in the- Does it have anything to do with the fact that he looks like Raiden? <laughs> Guys, I'm, I don't know how to play games, I'm, or listen to a story, I'm stupid. I'm not picking up on what they're putting down, unfortunately. Alright, so I have to, 
Uh, it was nothing. Yep, that's right. Go that way. Uh, so I've got to head northeast. So give me the map, please. Um, now. I'm assuming... That north is just straight ahead on here, so... I'm going that way. So I need to be heading over this way somewhere. Never mind, that went, that took me southeast. I don't know where I'm going. Um, so this is southeast. Well, let's fucking turn around. Take me back to southwest. Okay, southeast, southwest. Oh, no, actually, this could work. If I actually go through there, I might be able to get northeast from here. Okay. Let's try it. With these really slow transitions. Okay. Nope, you didn't. Ah, uh, am I going to be quick enough or is this guy going to turn around on me? Another cardboard box, hell yeah. Awesome. Speak. Finish me. No. Speak. Bastard. I should have held him up to be honest and then got his items. Finish me. Yeah. You're out of here. Um yeah, I should have Oop. Wrong button. I should have uh, held him up and then interrogated him that way, but that's fine. <laughs> that's cool. You can just stay dead here. This should take me northeast, right? Hello, rat sir. You just chilling out in this nice little underground tunnel area? You want me to follow you? Alright, let's go. Never mind, you don't want me to follow you anymore. I thought we had something. Okay, we can take this way for a while. This should take us northeast, right? Haha! <laughs> to the northeast! And then impersonate this guy, get into the thing, get Sokolov, um, have a great time. That's how I see this going down. Now, what's this way? Frog! So, we'll keep going until we get to the weapons warehouse. Slowly maintain the distance. I'm very curious to see um, what's going to be upcoming. Like, are we, are we going to be fighting every other character that's left alive like do we still have to fight the sorrow if the sorrow even exists uh but the big boss the, the no sorry the boss uh do we fight volgan as well uh and do we fight ocelot again like those are my questions because our mission's just for the our mission's just for the boss so it makes me curious to see if um Makes me curious to see if uh, Volgan will end up being a part of that. Do we just extract Sokolov, take out um, the boss, and then leave? Aha! Uh -huh. Another, uh -huh. another storeroom, eh? Would you guys like to go hungry? How about that? I picked up the ration when I didn't want to. Give me a calorie, mate. Can't eat anymore. Um, I'm kind of tempted at this point to use the uh, to use the spider camo so I can have a bit of a walk around. Let me have a look at my camouflage. Yeah, there you go. It's starting to drain. God, that drains so much. It's crazy. Give 
Like, I understand why they make it drain so fast because of its capabilities, but goddamn. Goddamn. Let me just take that. Let me take that. This is HQ. Enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Begin the alert Nah. There was no alert status. Um. All right. Well, regardless, guys. Camo doesn't really do it for me. You heard it here first. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely useful, but all right. So that's drawn out some people, but we've destroyed this at least. Can't climb over this. I think we need to get into here. This room here. I don't think I would be able to shoot him from here. Oh god. Alright. I, I see the use for it now. Sucks. He re he was walking like straight for me, like he was following me. Like that kind of sucks. Uh, well that was fun. Just gonna eat this fresh rat. Uh, and then I'm gonna just wait for this, uh, wait for this alert to chill out. Oh god, that's the whole base on alert. Alright. I'll, I'll see you when this runs out, I guess. I love that we can shoot him through the fence. And now my caution is lessened. What's wrong? There's nothing. I love that it's not over because they now found that new body. Just when you thought it was over. Alright, we're in the weapons lab. East wing. Okay. Well, this is exactly how I like to play. Just 
That's alright guys, I have a cardboard box, number C, so don't, don't mess with me, because I will be completely invisible. Hey! I was in a box! So you guys are you guys are gone. There's nothing there's nothing to worry about. Interesting fact. The Colonel. He has trouble with right mushrooms. Weak against water, he has trouble with mushrooms. I was getting useful information. Alright. Will this time be the time that I can do this without fucking it up? Alright, so that guy's now in there. There's just so many areas to think about here. It's very vertical. Alright, there's a guy there. Everyone's hungry. Oh, that's our that's our boy. That's our boy. That's our boy. That's our boy. Why do I suck so bad? Get out of here. You're asleep now. Dude, why why do I suck so bad at this infiltration? Damn it! I can't get into any of these goddamn rooms. Can I? You got? You guys got any key cards or anything that I can move around these rooms in? Anything for me? Ah, oh, goddamn it! Open the door. Open the door. Ooh, I'm being cold. Snake, that door can't be opened by normal means. Apparently, it operates by responding to a specific radio frequency. Ah. If you want to know the key frequency, why don't you try asking someone nearby? That's interesting. <laughs> Oh now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it. I'm trying to ask you a question. Leave me alone. Oh, now I can't ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. Tell me the frequency! Thanks, sir. You've been You've been You've been a lovely, a lovely help. Alright, so if I set the radio to 130... I already forgot. <laughs> Was it 14... 14030, right? Did I get that right? Only one way to find out. But damn, this moves so slow and then it moves so fast. Alright. That's what we're sticking with. This radio frequency, apparently. Get out of here. When I said we're going loud, I meant it. This takes us to the main wing. This is not where we want to be. Let's just go back because we need to get this outfit. Once I get this outfit, we should be golden. And then I can just walk around. I'm excited for that. Is it... Did I get it wrong? I literally just had him tell it to me, and then I forgot the number immediately. Like, I am instantly forgot the number. Lost the enemy. He must still be in the 
Tell me the number again. Acid, password, X, M, E, I, G, H, T. Acid password. Do it. It's the acid password. Major! I am ready to try again. <laughs> Let's go into the east wing of the weapons lab and try it again. Now, something I want to try just to see if it works. Because there are scientists around here. Because I want to see if we can do this, okay? I want to see if we can be scientist guy. And I'm hoping that this actually works. Just not around the other scientists. I've run around like a crazy madman in here. Okay, cool. The scientist outfit works. I've run around like a crazy madman in here. Gotten some nice, useful interrogation information. Um, but... Hello, sir. You just... Yep. Hello. have a look around in here for some stuff. Got a mouse trap. That's cool. Uh, I can get a, like a nice little look around up here. Interesting. I just would like to interrogate someone and have a oh that's the major. Oh that's the that's the scientist. Who are you? Oh what? Yes, no one can see me, because I'm a nerd in the library. The door will open with frequency 144.41. Cool, that's what I needed. 14441. Bastard. Good night. 14441, right? And then I still have this information about, like, the, uh, the password, um, for something, like an acid password, X-M-E-I-G-H-T. I don't know what it's for, but now if I set the radio correctly, all the way to 14441, uh, then I'll be able to open the doors. I picked the I did it wrong. <laughs> one four 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 one. Four one. Okay, so there's no response, but this should now open the doors for me. Do I have to call the frequency to open the door? Okay, the door has just been unlocked. Okay, so you have to call the radio. Um, when you're at the door, that makes sense. Okay, you can't just walk through it. Uh, we got a scorpion. We got a new gun. We got this, the Russian submachine gun. Exciting. We love, we love good storerooms. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we can now open doors. That's that's lovely. That's just what we need. This will make this a lot easier. Uh, 
And now, if I can just not get caught, because I have made so many mistakes in this infiltration, this has been my worst one yet. <laughs> That guy's gonna wake up soon. What if we did something cool and we just went, I'm going to murder people to avoid getting caught? What if we just what if we just did that? Like, we just went, oh. What if what if we just put you to bed? We're just gonna put you to bed. And that's and that's that. It's what I should have done before. I should have choked him out. But it didn't let me take him out properly. Alright, back to back to being a nerd scientist guy. So we have to take out Rykov, but from what I there, which he's right there. And what I think we have to do is Oh, he's going to the bathroom. This might be our opportunity. I think we have to do it when we're in private, so he'll give up his uh Give up his information. Alright. Um, uh, What's going on? Oh yeah, I just realized that he's literally just looking at that guy. I thought he noticed me. Um, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me. No! I didn't I didn't press the I literally was not even pressing the movement. That is frustrating. Alright, we've knocked him out though. <laughs> I was going to interrogate him. Alright, we're in a... Can I have your outfit, please? Do I have to take him somewhere else? Let me call someone. <laughs> we're in private, man. Good. You've taken care of Rykov. Now to take those clothes he's wearing. How? But don't take his clothes off there, out in the open. It's far too conspicuous. Also, once you've disguised yourself as Rykov, you'll need to find some place to hide the real Rykov's body. There must be a place where you can take Rykov's clothes and hide his body. Drag Rykov's body over there. Eva might know a suitable location. Try asking her. Be careful well, not to wake problem. Rykov up while you're dragging him, and make sure you're not seen by enemy soldiers or scientists. Well, this will be fine. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll call Eva. You took care of Rykov? Good. The now locker room. To the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes, and you can hide his body too. The locker room is on the southwest side of the second floor. Hurry and take him there. Southwest of the second floor. We have to take him upstairs. All right. Uh. I'm gonna drag this guy in. I'm gonna just have to take out everyone in the building to then drag Rykov upstairs. I think that's the only way that this is gonna. This is the only way that this is gonna work. You're mine now, buddy. Talk to me. Water. The Colonel is weak against water. Yep. Speak. The Colonel. He has trouble with bright mushrooms. Uh, speak. Okay. Uh, speak. A April 30th. What about it? Uh, answer me. We'll tell them everything. Together. Uh, speak. Today is the day I met you. Answer me. No. Never never heard the name before. Answer me. Do you know what's funny to me is like, I don't think we can let him live purely because of the fact that he's just gonna wake up <laughs> and we have to stay We have to stay disguised as this guy. But then we've just got blood all over his clothes. <laughs> so that's gonna be that's gonna be fine. Now I've killed this guy, but now I have to deal with this guy because he's gonna go and look at this guy. 
And we can't we can't let that happen. So you're now dead. Not taking any chances here. Now I need to get across I need to get to the locker room which is there. So we've got scientists in here, we got that locked door. I'm hoping that the radio frequency that I got from earlier will still work, even though that I've had to restart due to multiple issues. So we'll just have to see how we go. Just leave those scientists in there. I'll peacefully drag you along here. Nobody, nobody's suspicious of you and me in here. Oh, it opens because we've got the, it opens automatically because we've got you. There. <laughs> we take him to the lockers. Nice. That's all we needed to do. That wasn't so hard, was it? That didn't take me f absolutely forever. <coughs> there you go, buddy. Get into the locker. It's nice little sparky underwear. There's a picture on the... There's a... There's a picture of Raiden on the locker. Why? The, the Easter eggs in this game are so weird. Referencing Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> um, Alright, he's in. He's in. The locker. We now have his camouflage, I assume, right? Officer. There we go. And now I put on his mask. Look at me! I'm indistinguishable. We I finally made it, guys. This took me this took me so long to get here. <laughs> I want some more. I want some more. This infiltration was difficult. That's for, that's for sure. But uh he's he's gone now. And now we are Indistinguishable. Hello guys, it's me, your boss. And now I get to loot this whole area. Without having to worry about it, that's great. God, that's so much better. Hello, hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to my base. Happy to have you here. I know you're all hungry and rations are low. It's because of that asshole naked snake. And he unfortunately went and blew up our storehouse, but trust me, when we get him, I'll reward you all with a nice lovely feast. Just can't do anything about it right now. Alright. I'm pretty sure I checked everything out that I could while I was in here, so now I'm just going to leave and I'm going to forget about this place entirely now that I've got, uh, now that I've got this disguise. And now I can just walk around the base freely. They don't even acknowledge me. Isn't that great? All right, Grozny Grad Northeast. Um, I'm going to definitely save my game here right now. Oh, I there was uh, numerous issues that I had with that infiltration, from constantly getting seen and making dumb mistakes to then my game actually crashing. Like it was all over the place. Ah, your Rykov disguise has turned out nicely. Yeah, not even his own mother could tell the difference. Indeed. You're starting to irritate me already. Why? This look should make me more popular. I wouldn't bet on it, but whatever. Now that you're indistinguishable from the real Rykov, you'll be able to get into the West Wing, to which only Volgin and Rykov have access. Head for the West Wing of the Weapons Lab. That's where Sokolov is being held. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the East Wing. Pass west through the main wing, and you'll come to a connecting passageway. The West Wing is at the other end of that passageway. Infiltrate the West Wing and rescue Sokolov. So many directions, but I I think I have to go back in, go upstairs, and there's a door that takes me through that I... Yeah, okay. While you're disguised as Rykov, you can press the action button to perform a salute. Ooh. If you want, why don't you try saluting some of the soldiers and scientists? Yes, I do. We also need to remember that apparently the Colonel is uh, weak against mushrooms that are bright and water. 
Um, I don't know why, but I'm sure we'll find out. I guess I need to get some bright mushrooms, because I don't think I have any. Um, and water. I, I also don't know how we're going to figure that out. That's interesting. Some types of food. Sigint will talk about our officer disguise. Okay, you're disguised as Rykov. You ought to be able to pass for the real deal in that outfit. You can go anywhere you want and nobody's going to ask questions. But don't forget that you the can't dream. equip most of your weapons when you're in disguise. Okay, your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Even if I punch someone in the face? Right. Really? Really? Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Oh my god, amazing. I can Once attack you're people. As Rykov, you can get into the west wing where Sokolov is being held. To get to the entrance to the west wing, pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. Once you're ready, go back to the east wing. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the east wing and pass through it to get to the west wing. It's interesting that Eva and Major Zero give us basically the same instructions the all the time. Snake? Yeah, they always give us the same instructions. <laughs> New file, that's for sure. Cool. Snake, have you ever seen the guns of Navarone? Never. It's about a mission to blow up the huge guns on the island of Navarone during World War II. Six men are chosen to participate in the operation, each with his own special ability. They only have until an English destroyer passes by the island to complete their mission. Facing impossible odds, the six men have to sneak onto the island from a cliff on the southern shore. That doesn't sound like something I'd want to watch in my free time. Maybe not for you, but the Major was absolutely crazy about it. The Major? He told me to tell you how great it was. Tell him I'll go see it as soon as I get back to the States. <laughs> Do you want to tell him yourself? Uh, no, let's save that for later. I'd better get back to the mission. Yeah. Gotta get back to the mission. Alright, done. Cool. Now I can just go wherever I want. Um, I don't think there's going to be much for me to really do... Um, outside. I should just focus on... There's probably not much in regards to... Let me use the action button. There we go. Sir. Nice. Sir. Cool. Isn't that cool, guys? Sir. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll I'll get to go back inside, and then I'll I'll do that. So we'll go through to that area of the of the weapons lab, all the way over there to the west wing, and then we'll fucking have a great time getting circle of. And apparently, I'm full on basically everything, so that's that works out fine for me. And Rykov can just freely walk around like this all the time, and and nobody will even question how weird, how weird that I'm being. <laughs> all right, upstairs we go. So many methods on how I could have tackled that. This whole. Sir. So many methods on how I could have tackled this whole area as well. Um, but ultimately, I went with the best one, I think, which was stuff you in a locker and no questions asked, because I'm I'm over it. <laughs> so we're in the main wing, and then we need to navigate the main wing to then... There's the Shagger Hod, uh, to then get to the west wing. I wonder how long our flawless design, our flawless disguise will uh, will work for. How long do we think uh, <laughs> we'll be able to be in perfect disguise until it's uh, no longer no longer manageable? Hello, everyone. 
I seek access to the West Wing. I was going to salute you, but it's going into a cutscene. Sir. Wonderful. I love that I'm just walking like this. Like, not even, not even suspicious. Just doing my sneak walk. We're in. Well, here it is. Why wouldn't we stay in disguise? There he is. There's our man. And this is Eva, right? You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. <gasps> It's my lipstick gun. I love that he thought it was a lipstick gun. <sighs> Snake, she knows it's us. That's very, that's very interesting. When realistically we don't actually have to hide from her at all. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. I'm breaking you out of here, sir. I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final oh. preparations for phase two are complete. Why didn't you work a little slower, so, man? What exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. 
but Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. Mm. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. Right on, dude. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We'll blow it up. We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. Hmm. This is my lover. My wife. This is my wife. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Ah! Oh, I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. I missed the RB. I was pressing it. And I pressed it too late. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. Metal Gear. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. It's true. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. 
The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. I'm waiting for that Tatiana the betrayal the arms race against one, Snake. Say. I don't know. Missiles, rockets. What's she the got difference? her own agenda. Scientists are always being used. Please watch over my family. That's the photo. So I get to see the photo anyway. There you go. Was this Volgan? Where's your hat? Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Why aren't you? S He's not going to say anything. Um... Who are you? Don't um, play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. Even the size of his PP. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh, your kneecap circle of. Ooh, nice one. Now shoot him in the head, please. Just, just end him. Oh my god. The double disarm. The boss is going to be able to identify us very disguise. It's easily going to off on you, and then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. What the fuck? See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. I'm assuming Ivan. Yeah. We heard his. We heard his boyfriend. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's Ocelot. Jesus Christ. This is fucked up. Ah! 
Whoa. Jesus Christ. Save. Option to save our game. Uh, Sokolov got kneecapped. Tatiana has run off with some information. Who's no? Who's actually not uh, the lover of Sokolov? Uh, Ocelot and the bus, and everyone's just essentially hanging out. And uh, we've just well, okay. We're in a we're in a torture room. Tell me. Stop it. <laughs> Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I She's... know you gave the data to someone. He's right next to you. She's right next to you, bro. Open your eyes. Well, that's so love. Dead. Ugh. Like, brutally dead. I guess he's dead. I guess he's dead. Is it our turn, Neil? Now then. Entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? You're a tough one, my friend. A lesser man would be dead by now. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Well, then, let's get started. <laughs> What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Jesus Christ, man. Emperor Palpatine right, up in so here. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the Here's three Tatiana. powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? 
one hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. Thanks for giving us all the information that we and Eva need. Never oh, was that our revival pill? What's this? Oh, A never transmitter. Mind. I don't know, it was in our tooth, wasn't it? <laughs> Who's responsible for this? I am. I what? planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was going to be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. Pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? This is so Star Wars. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine over here. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's no, he's gonna lose an eye! Because this is why they said that Solidus looks like the spinning image. Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. This is why Solidus looks exactly like Big Boss, because he loses an eye. Ew. Why are Eva, Eva and the, the boss are giving each other looks as well? Dude. This is fucking grim. Stop! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No, I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Volgan is fucked up. Here we go. I mean, that wasn't already obvious, but like, fucking hell. Now. He just sacrificed his own eye. Jesus well, Christ. That was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. Yeah. This is fucked up. So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh?
Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. <laughs> Alright, now what the fuck's gonna happen now? Fuck. One four four seven five. What the fuck was that? Sm what is he smiling for? He's like in the back. One four four seven five. What the fuck? I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You are quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Far out. Like, that took a fucking turn, didn't it? So, we're in prison. Uh, we got given a gun. We got a fork, hell yeah. Uh, oh, he gave us some food. Uh, so we've got single action army. So we've got the 45 revolver with nothing in it. Uh, we got a fork. We're, we're basically fucked. <laughs> um, gunshot wound inflicted by the boss. Bullet has become lodged in the body. Uh, I should be able to... Should be able to get it out of my body. And then you put that bullet in the gun, right? <laughs> you reckon? I can pull the, pull the bullet out? I've got nothing on me. Uh, guys, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to... Talk to some people and dial this radio uh, frequency that old mate in the back was holding up and smiling, which was really strange. Um, there was so much to take in there. This episode has been huge in terms of uh, the first, most of it being cursed playthrough and me fucking up tremendously, but uh, in, in an intense amount of cutscene stuff there. I'm, Sokolov's dead. Um, Eva and the boss look at each other as if they're in on something. Like, the boss definitely has a soft spot for us because she's, like, telling us to run and stuff. I'm just like, I don't know, man. Uh, this is how S Snake loses his eye is he actually takes a Ocelot's bullet to the eye. Volgan is disgusting. Emperor Palpatine character. <laughs> It's just, it's just insane. Um, let's talk to some people, and then let's dial that frequency, and then we'll go on from Snake? there. Snake? Major, you're all right. Barely. I wouldn't say all right, but at least I'm alive. That's good enough. But they took all my weapons and equipment from me. Well, you've still got your radio and medical items with you. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Perhaps Volgan's not finished with you just yet. Yeah, well, I'm not finished with him yet, either. Snake, you've got to escape from that cell somehow. There must be a way. Use your head. The boss gave you a gun? Yeah, a single-action army. 
for what? I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, why don't you use that gun to shoot? I can't. Why not? No bullets. I see. Well, you'll be able to get some once you're outside. First, you've got to escape from that cell. There must be a way. Don't give up. Snake, your right eye. Hmm. The cornea and the lens are severely damaged, and the eyeball is ruptured. So... So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, Snake. I wish there was something I could do. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. I don't doubt you. But don't do anything crazy, okay? From here on, it's going to be difficult to see out of your right eye. Attacking think... in first-person view will feel a little different from before. Be careful. Oh, that's really interesting because, you know, you lose a bit of... Yeah, no, that's awesome. You need to build up your stamina that's before a neat trying touch. to escape. Without your stamina, you won't have the strength to punch and kick. That's right. I'll Be eat sure this rat. Eat whatever food the guard brings you. Take a look around the cell. You might be able to find some edible plants or animals. In any case, you've got to eat something to restore your stamina. That's an order. Snake, the door of the cell is set up to open when it receives a radio signal on a certain frequency. Oh. If you only knew the frequency, you could use your radio to open the door. Could that be the radio frequency that I was just given? Snake, the door. That's interesting. Snake, I wanted to ask you something. What? In the torture room? Why did you protect me when Ocelot was about to fire? Because I knew that the chamber wasn't empty, and you'd be dead if he pulled the trigger. But your eye. I was tied up, and it happened so fast. It was the best I could do. I feel a little strange, but it won't interfere with the mission. What about me? Huh? Did you only save me because I was important for completing your mission? What other reason would there be? And when the mission is over? Right now, it's just the mission. The mission you used to love? That's not what I mean. I'm trying to dig up as much as I can on that cell. Just sit tight. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is this is a this is a very large episode. There's a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to save this one here, uh, and then ready to save Snake. We're going to continue. We're going to continue this one next time. So uh, yeah, we'll escape from we'll escape from the prison cell, and then <laughs> see see what's uh, see what's waiting for us after that. So I guess we'll use this. Uh, I guess we'll use this radio uh, frequency that this guy gave us, and I'm Snake. assuming it's going to be the one that'll open the door. Snake. My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? <sighs> Feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying, the time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this? The master spreads his huge wings, and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula! Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <clears throat> you better not leave me without someone to talk to. <clears throat> Please, Snake, think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know <laughs> if you start having nightmares about Dracula. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I'm sorry about audio issues and absolute curse playthroughs and fucking everything up, but it's 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 fine. <laughs> it's fine, I promise. Uh, I'm enjoying myself, and the story is getting absolutely crazy at the moment as everything is getting to this point, and I'm so excited to play more, and we'll get into that next episode. So thank you, guys. I'll see you then.